Whoa, it's snowing. I am about to pull up onto the property of, um, you know, the property that I was talking about in the last video. And um, before I actually like film the property and show it to you, I wanna make sure that I have, you know, consent and all that stuff. I mean, if I do, the following sequence will be me doing my thing, filming and taking some photos. Let's do this. Okay, well, that's pretty much all we got there. If you watched the last video, I showed you that I packed, you know, lights and the slider. I didn't really need the slider because we didn't have time to use it. Also, we scheduled the shoot for 4 p.m. And here in Ohio, it gets dark. Sunset was at 5.09. This particular job, um, I offered to do pro bono because it was my way of getting in the door. Sometimes you have to do free work to establish a connection uh, in a certain space or with a certain person, and that's exactly what we did. So, all right, let's go home and see what everyone else is up to. <gasps> all that stuff, I only used two of the cases. Bag in a case. This just goes back to the point that I made yesterday about being professional. At least I had everything that I would have needed and didn't need it instead of needing something that I didn't have. I like being prepared, what can I say? Let's see what the boys are up to. Dude, what's up dude? Missed you too while you were at school. What are you working on? Homework. Yeah? It looks pretty complicated. Division. Division? Yeah. You got this. I know you got this. I hate division. I do too. I would hate it too. What do you boys say? We have some delicious spaghetti. Come on, me. There's a spaghetti. Oh, what do you think? Do you like the spaghetti? Yes, I know you don't talk like that, but I'm just trying to be funny. You know, I'm a comedian over here. Liza. <gasps> Those are Reese's peanut butter trees. I don't want to eat them. 
just the families all together. I did a great job today, honey. Did you? I did a great job. You know what? My back hurts. Your back hurts? Yeah, pretty what? much. So hold this. So imagine. Oh, well, I can't see. Imagine. You're holding up like all this uh -huh. for at least, I'm gonna probably 45 minutes straight before I set it down. Try to do just that with no weight yeah. for five minutes. I bet. It's, I'm, now listen, I'm not complaining by any means because I love doing what I do, but I'm just saying. Like, I'm like sore from it. Be sore oh, you're gonna love this, babe. You're gonna love this body. <laughs> this is a fake elf on the shelf. It's a toy it's, elf on the it's shelf. It's the toy elf on the shelf. I it's it, not real. I wanted to buy some new ones. Yeah. Yo, why is that on fire? Well, probably because something dripped in the bottom and it's catching on fire. Carson. Uh, honey. Put it out, dude. <laughs> there it is. You see that down there? Don't touch it. Oh my god. What is that? Wait, what is that? I'm gonna push it, I'm just gonna push it down. We'll get it from the underneath at a later date. <laughs> Look at this, earlier this morning, you probably saw it on my Instagram, I was posting about these, these uh, smoothies, right? At home smoothies from Jamba. This smoothie I had earlier, on the bag, it's like red. But when I made it, it was like yellow. This is yellow on the bag, and when I make it, is it gonna be red? It actually was really good. I'm gonna recommend it, not sponsored. But these are, these are, it's just fruit in a bag, frozen. You just add apple juice, and then you have a delicious smoothie. It also helps when you have a ninja. Like, this blender is amazing. They're beautiful. Oh, Liza, they're so pretty. You got the prettiest nails I ever saw in my whole life. <laughs> that yes. one scares me. This scares you? Mm -hmm. That's just meat. We got two different sauces here, not because we need a lot of sauce <laughs> for our spaghetti. Because they're two different sauces. Here, let me get the jars because you guys need to see this. I don't think we've had this discussion before. Okay. It's like Apple and Android, honestly. There's two choices here. Prego ragu. This one's flavored meat. This one is fresh mushroom. Okay? We're not gonna tell Carson which one's which. Okay. Carson's gonna try them. Ready? Okay. You're gonna try both these sauces. Hot? No, no, not yet. Try that sauce. Okay. Okay. Now. What? Is that Prego? Try this sauce. Those taste the same. No, they don't. Yeah. No, they do not taste the same. Which one did you like better? This one. Ooh, <laughs> you like that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, he likes that one. Oh. Was that Prego? No, that was that, that was Prego. Sorry, yes, Ooh. you're right. That was Prego. Prego was actually good. Veronica likes ragu. Ragu. I like this. Prego. We're all in the same family. We should just be putting our own spoons in there, but. I That's like Prego. ragu. That's There's Prego. something. No. Do you like Prego? I told her, I was like, can we, can, are you gonna eat Prego with me tonight? And she said, no. Nah. No. Nah. No. Nah. And then I'm like, all right, maybe it's my turn to try ragu and just see if I can be the one who compromises. I try ragu and it is like, nah. So gross. It's like, it's like what you would put on your, preschool pizza that came out of the, do you know what I'm saying? It's like the most basic sauce you can possibly get. Well, I'm a basic girl. And I like basic sauce. She's basic. <laughs> Fine, we need I it all. Take spaghetti for long all right, so I, here's what I need from you guys. I need, I need a solid opinion in the comments down below. Are you team ragu? <laughs> or team prego? Yes, dude. I'm Prego all day long. I'll eat, I'll eat any, any type of Prego, but Ragu just does not do it. You like other sauces too, other than Prego. I do. I do. What is that one that's Coca? What is that one that's a weird name? It's like local something or other. Putinesca. It's like a Putinesca. 
it's spicy, it's got olives in it. It's really, really good. Whoever had biscuits like that with their spaghetti? Well, they're butter tasting. I feel bad. And I put garlic on top of them. You sprinkled garlic on those? Yep. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. That's what you should have after spaghetti dinner. Oh, guys, I ate a big dinner and like, I feel like I hit a wall. I'm so tired. This grayness is it. Liza, you get some? <gasps> is that so good? Yeah. You like ice cream cones? Mm. Okay, sorry about that. I, uh, well, I actually did go into a food coma uh, later that night because of spaghetti and ice cream. I'm wrapping this video up because I didn't have it finished the following day and I wanted to make sure that the whole video was there so that I could not only have gone to shoot it, but then show you what I shot and came up with, so, yeah. This is the second time I filmed this because my camera was out of focus. But anyways, so on the video, I think the shoot went really, really well. And for being my first time doing a realty, like, property shoot, I think we did a good job. But there's a couple things that, like, I want to mention. If there was one thing that I could change about the way we shot this video, it would have been the time of day. In Ohio, the cloud cover lately has been so thick. It was, it was almost dark by the time we got to shooting. And unfortunately, that was the only available time that she had to be there with me to shoot. And so it just had to be that. It is what it is. So my biggest gripe on that video was the, the lighting. The, the outside lighting was bad. The second point would be, I wish that I had more footage. I shot a lot, but I like to shoot a lot more. It's nice when you sit down to edit that you have way too much footage than not enough because you, you can always like decide not to use a clip, but you can't go back and shoot most of the time. So it's better to have more than not have enough. I think we had plenty, but I wish I just had more, more variations of clips that I could have used. Aside from that, I think it turned out really good. Uh, for my first real tea like property shoot, I think it did a good, really good job. The talent, in this case, is a house, an inanimate object. It doesn't move or blink or complain. It's kind of perfect. <laughs> All jokes aside, I'm really curious to see what you guys thought about that cut. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. And that's gonna do it for today, guys. Smash the like button, subscribe if you aren't with notifications on. And I will see you right back here next time.